Today I'm gonna make some, um, hello, good afternoon. This is um, Zorina Spice. Today I wanna show you, I'm going to make some swordfish with, um, with mushroom, baked swordfish. So I'm gonna um, clean it and wash it. Actually, it's also looks so clean, but it still need to wash. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse it out a little, and then I show you the next step. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna squeeze a little lime, lemon on this here, because I, I wanna wash it with a little lemon, just both sides a little. I wash it, I scrape all the edges out from there. So now I'm gonna just let the lemon soak on it a little and then I'm gonna rinse it out. Now I'm going to wash it, then I show you the next step. So now I wash it, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna, um, Put a paper towel and just absorb all the water from it. The reason for this, when it's cooking, there's going to be all this liquid and you don't want that. You just want it to bake nice and dry. Yeah, I don't want the, um, the water then when it started to cook, it might lose a lot of water because of the water that's soaking it. So now this is all dry. I scraped the skin and everything, it's nice and clean. So now I'm gonna um, show you the seasoning I use. So now I show you the seasoning that I use. I have some cilantro here and I'm gonna put it into my um, this magic bullet and I'm gonna grind it up a little. I have some pepper here. Some celery, you can use any type of seasoning you have. And I'm gonna put this onion too. The all in there, the garlic, So I'm cleaning the garlic and next you know I'm gonna blend all this up and then I'll soak season the fish. So I grind all those uh, nice seasoning in here. You use what seasoning you have. You have to any kind of nice seasoning you have, you, have, you, you can use it. So now I'm gonna season this fish. So I'm going to add some salt, salt to taste, see I scrape all these skins out, I think that should be enough, they always add salt but if it's too much you know then it, it get a taste like too much. Now I'm gonna put a touch of black pepper. I don't want too much black pepper because I put a little pepper from the, from the seasoning. So I put this seasoning, you could make it plain too with just black pepper and salt.
All these are going to soak into the fish. A nice sauce. So I make it a sauce. Let it just soak into the fish. I'm gonna put some lemon juice. I'll let it just soak, but I have to put some olive oil too. So now I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil from the fish, let it soak, and I'll put it aside for seasoning. Maybe about half hour, then I start put it to bake. I need the flavor to soak into the fish. So now I have some mushroom here. This is a portabella mushroom. I'm gonna clean it up, take the stem off, and wash it, and let you see the next step. So this is how um this is how I clean it. I took all the ins like this I took the stem out. Then when I done this I'll have to thoroughly wash it. Take out anything that's like you know they come they're not they come with I mean a little sun or whatever coming with them because they look that clean so I'm gonna finish all these up when I finish here I'm going to wash it then you see then you'll see the next step I almost finish here so this is it now we gotta wash it so i washed the mushroom and i'm gonna cut it in just two pieces this one is a little big so i'll cut it, cut it back but mostly two pieces and I was going to bake it, but I'm going to stir fry it because it will be a little more tender. The baking, it may be too dry, so I decided to stir fry it to eat with the salt fish. The big one, I cut it in four. Anyway, I'll finish up and let you see. So I finish, I'll cut up the mushroom. That's a, by the way, that's a portobello mushroom. So I'm gonna put a little salt. You know, salt is for you to taste. And I have a little um, seasoning that I have left back. I'm gonna put it in it. Yeah, so I have a little seasoning and I'm gonna just spray put it over to give it the flavor because you have some nice seasoning in this here So now I add a little black pepper for this. This has a little seasoning in it. And optional, if you need any, um, I put a little cayenne. So my oven reach. 50 degree and I'm gonna put that fish on to cook
So I just want you to see real quick, I'm gonna put it in the oven now because the pan is hot and I just took the pan out. I'm gonna put it in there for it to bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes or then we'll check it for doneness. So this is how it looks. So let's put it in the oven now. So now I um, prepare a little um, the seasoning because I'm gonna stir fry it. The mushroom. So there's a piece of sweet pepper, some onion, and some garlic, or whatever more seasoning you want. But you have everything here. This is nice. I already put the fish in, so we're gonna make a quick stir fry with this because this don't take long to cook. And you see the next step. Now I put this pan on and I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of oil. Can't you just see the oil is already hot and I'm going to um, just show this in here. This little bit of seasoning. Always use your own seasoning, what you like. You don't have to get what I have, but I'm just giving you an example. So this is very nicely. In the fish special, carbs are added in the mushroom. The mushroom I put some season to saute it. So we gotta let it cook a little now. It looks good. Let's see what's going on here. Nicely, it's almost finished here too. Okay, you see the next step. So let me take a quick peek of this. Okay, so this is finished. We need to put in more. I take this stove off, and I show you. Now I just want you to see that the fish, the swordfish bake nice, very tender and nice. And this is um, this is the mushroom. It's also very nice. So now you could eat this with like anything, maybe bread, some rice, some noodle, whatever you want to eat with it. You know, you take a piece of the fish, the swordfish, a little of um, Put a bit of mushroom and you eat it with it, but it's very nicely done. I just want to show you that um, so I'm going to cut a piece of this fish. See how it is? And this fish, like when it tastes like shea butter, that's how swordfish tastes. I taste it. Mmm. Delicious. Very delicious. Nicely made. Um, if you guys want to try this recipe, you could go ahead and try it. I'll tell you, it tastes really good. And the way the mushroom is, very nice. 
just have to um, eat it just like that or you need it with some roti, some rice, some noodle, whatever you want to eat it with, but it's all good. So this is Oina Spice. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more video and you guys have a good, uh, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Just want you to take a quick look at the plate. It's very, very nice. I tell you, the, the swordfish tastes all like butter and the mushroom. That's such a fantastic taste. Just want you to see how nice it turned out. Just carry, get a little noodle or something else to go with it. That's all good. Or you could eat it just like that. Thank you guys for watching.